the baggy green. It's quite possibly the most recognisable piece of Australian sporting equipment. And what an incredible history it has. Over time, 431 have been issued, the most recent to Jackson Bird. The bag of green is one of the most recognisable things in Australian sport and I, I suppose to have one to call my own, you know, it was a special feeling yesterday and something I'll never forget. Originally, your baggy green was issued with your kit for that tour. So you get your shirt, your pants, your jacket, your baggy green, and it would be replaced for each tour. But then in the early 90s, an unofficial tradition kicked off where players would hold on to the original baggy green and wear it for their entire career. As far as cleaning, Hopefully it could and sort of turn out, if it looks half as dirty as Ricky Ponting's by the end of it, I'll be, be doing really well. He showed me his hat yesterday and it was, you know, there was a, a bit of a tear there where the button is and you know, there's a lot of history in that and um, you know, it just goes to show uh, how, how cherished something like a baggy green is. John Hastings with his brand new baggy green and your baggy green well-worn, well-worn and obviously been through so many wonderful journeys. Yeah, my wife was actually commenting on that before the game, sort of saying it's a bit of a reflection of me at the moment. Um, and as it turns out, I was actually thinking about getting a new baggy green cap before this series started, but just wanted to see what I could get out of it. And It's actually got a few rips on the top of it that the boys created in Adelaide when I caught Graham Smith in the second innings. I got a few ruffles on the head and that was enough to, to rip it even more. So you can have a look, yeah. Yeah, it's got a few little rips and everything up on the top here. So. Probably luckily for my cap's sake that today's the last day as well. There's Ricky, cap 366, and Captain Mark Taylor, cap 346. He started the tradition of presenting the baggy green to the debutante on the uh, first day of the test. And then uh, Steve Waugh, cap 335, he developed that tradition and invited past players to come back to do the presentation. I would assume you keep it in a in a safe place. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I suppose I'll be keeping it in, uh, you know, my backpack at, at all times when travelling and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just something that I'll, I'll treasure. So. Where is it right now? Uh, it's in my pocket right now. Actually, <laughs> got told to bring it out here. <laughs> Give us a look at it. So. You want talk t talk us through it. Um, well, it's a fairly big one. I've got a pretty big melon. So, um, but you know, it's it's a nice looking cap, I guess. It's, it's something that I'll. You know, I'll treasure for a long time and you know, it was, it was a proud moment yesterday to, to be able to wear one. Cleaning instructions, storage instructions, <laughs> do, you, do you get any of that information? <laughs> no, I think it's sort of, uh, I think you, you just got to um, do it as you, as you go along, but um, no, it's, it certainly was a, a boyhood dream and you know, as I said, one that I'll never forget. I haven't got one piece of cricket memorabilia up in my house anywhere, um, but this is obviously a bit more, bit, bit more special than the rest of it, so it might need some renovating or something done to it. It's been done up a couple of times over the years already, so we'll see, what's, see what happens with it. It's something that I've you know, cherished ever since I've been given it by you know, Michael Slater, and you know, it's just a, such an honour. You know, all the rewards that you've had, you know, all, all the rewards that come from your hard, hard practice sessions that you've done, uh, you've done the, the amount of hours that you put in the nets, you know, fielding, off the field, the amount of times that you've watched the great players play on TV and you're just saying, I want to be there one day and have that baggy green and to be here at the moment, it's still so surreal. It's still 100% Australian made, it's still 100% Australian wool, it's still 100% baggy green. Except for this one which was the bicentenary test in 1988, white. On the, the pink test, there's the, the pink, baggy pink. 100% baggy green. <laughs>